Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life, and today we're talking about canes. So I recently got a question about how I particularly use my cane, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about that as well as just canes in general and some interesting things I know about canes, but mainly answering that question, how I use my cane. Now, before we get started into that, I want to remind you guys that I have the Blind Life t-shirts available on Amazon.com. I've been adding new designs. I think I have over 20 designs on there now. Not just the Blind Life, but vision impairment in general. And I also have a new way to find the shirts. There's a link in the description for my Amazon shop. If you guys remember, that's where I post all the different products I talk about on my channel. If you can find them on Amazon, they're gonna be all linked in that Blind Life Amazon shop. So that is where I've also put the shirts. It's a quick, easy way to find all of my shirts. You don't have to search through Amazon. You can just go to that link and they're all gonna be in there. So once again, that link will be down below. And heads up, I'm also working on some adult only shirts. <laughs> Cause I've got some great ideas and I've also gotten some great ideas from the community. So that will be a secret link, uh, the adults only. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that. <laughs> now getting back to canes. Uh, this is probably your most familiar standard style of cane. Um, it is the white cane with the red end. This one also has the rolling marshmallow tip, so called because it looks like a giant marshmallow on the end of your cane. This one also has the very familiar golf club grip. So the exact same kind of grip that's on a golf club is on this cane. This one is a four segmented cane, so it folds down into four sections. And it's a very sturdy, heavy-duty, strong cane. This is the kind of cane that you would use for navigation. So when you see people walking and they're swiping the cane back and forth, or maybe tapping it, or even just kind of keeping it steady, pushing it in front of them to avoid obstacles, this is the type of cane you want for that. It's strong, it's not going to break, it's gonna, it's gonna stand up to some wear and tear. Now, canes come in all different shapes and sizes. This is a stability cane. So this is the kind of cane that if you have some limited mobility, um, maybe an older generation that needs a little help walking, but they still want a cane that is identifiable as low vision, this is perfect for that. This would not be used for navigation. This is strictly for identification uh, because it's a mobility cane. So they have different types like that as well. But the cane that I use the most is this one here. This is a new cane that I got uh, a couple months ago. It is a seven segmented cane. So it folds down a little bit smaller. The other thing about this cane is that it's much lighter material, roughly the same thickness as the other cane, but it's much lighter material. This would not stand up to the wear and tear of being a navigational cane. This is primarily an identification cane. Another interesting thing about this cane is it's completely white. It doesn't have the red end down here, and that's okay. Not all white canes have the red uh, section here. This one also has a flat metal tip. I'm not crazy about this tip, and in fact, I will probably get it changed. This does not have the golf club grip. This is just a foam grip. This cane is a little bit nicer than the other ones. Your standard cane, it has some metal accent down here on the handle and the elastic tie down here, the elastic strap at the end, has a little metal clasp, adjustable clasp on it. So this is a little bit nicer. But the reason why I use this cane instead of the normal navigational cane is that I don't need a cane for navigation. Uh, I still have enough usable vision that I can see parked cars and I can see chairs in my way. And you know, if I was coming up on a road cone, safety cone, I would be able to see that and, and navigate around it. 
What I have issues with is steps, curbs, cracks in the pavement, uh, manhole covers. Is the manhole cover sticking up? Is there a lip around the edge or is it flush with the, the sidewalk? Those are the things I have issues with and those are the things that I need a cane for. So as I'm walking, if I come up to something like that, I'll just give it a little, a little investigational tap, a little probing tap and see if yes indeed it is a curb or no, it's just flat transition from sidewalk to street and I can just keep on walking no problem. Those are the things I need a cane for. And in fact, the other majority of the time that I'm walking with my cane, I actually kind of walk like I'm holding a walking stick. So you can see in this video here that um, for the majority of the time that I'm walking, I, I just have it, I'm just walking with it, holding it. And it's those times that I come up to a curb or a step that I then I use my cane. The other main reason why I carry the cane is for identification, as I said, and that's for drivers of vehicles or people on bicycles if they're riding on the sidewalk towards me. I mean, they're moving towards me quickly and by the time that they're close enough for me to see them, it's usually too late for me to react. So that's why uh, where it comes in handy to have the cane because they can see me at a distance carrying the cane and then they can know that they need to be cautious when they come up to me so that there's no problems there. Um, also when I'm crossing a street, I've said this before too, going into grocery stores, going into um, fast food places, traveling through airports, I always take the cane because it helps out with identification in those situations. Now, as I said before, this one cane is totally white and it doesn't have the red tip here. And I've gotten a lot of people ask me about that and if it's okay to not have the red tip. And yes, it is. In fact, traditionally, the blind cane, the, the white cane for vision and visually impaired, was totally white. It didn't have the red segment here. That was later added because the white was blending into snow in the wintertime. You couldn't see the cane if somebody was walking out in the snow because the white was just blending in. So they added that red as a, as a contrast color to separate the cane from the background of the snow. So of course it's become very widely recognized the white with the red tip as a vision cane, but the white, pure white cane is also still recognized as a vision cane. And it might even be also tied with hearing impairment. I think I heard somebody say that once before that the white cane also uh, is represented. It also means that the user has a hearing impairment. I'm not, I don't know that for sure. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Now that also ties in with the question of changing the color of the cane. Uh, when you purchase a new cane, some, some, some companies will give you the option of customizing the handle, customizing the grip with a different color. In fact, Casey from How Casey Sees It, she has a pink handle on her cane. And I have a buddy, a good friend of mine, has a blue handle. I also know a gentleman that has a blue cane. And that is also possible to change the color of the cane. I think they even have like camouflage canes nowadays, which <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose if you ask me. But people have asked me, you know, would I ever get a different colored cane? And in my opinion, I would not. Um, I think the whole purpose of the cane is, is, well, part of the purpose of the cane is to be identifiable at, for what it is. And that is because of the white with the red or just the white, as I said before. So in my opinion, if you change the color, you know, you get like cheetah print or tiger stripes or something like that, or camouflage, then you lose part of the effectiveness of the cane. People might confuse it as, as something else and then it's, it's not as effective as it was. So in my opinion, I wouldn't change the color. I would stick with the white or the white and the red. Now, if you don't currently have a cane, you're thinking about getting a cane, there's, uh, you can get them in lots of places. Amazon has a ton of different canes. Ambutech is another uh, company that makes canes. If budget is a concern, you can go on nfb.com and you can submit a request to get a free cane. Uh, they, they feel that anybody who needs a cane should be able to have a cane regardless of income. So if you need a cane, be sure to get a cane, but also absolutely make sure you get some proper training. 
you need to get signed up with an orientation and mobility instructor and learn how to use the cane the right way. It's good to know all that information, even if you don't use it, it's really important to know it. Because even, I mean, there's even little, there's certain ways you're supposed to stand at a curb as you're waiting for traffic. There's certain ways to hold the cane. So it's just a good idea to, to learn it and have that knowledge in the back of your head. But regardless, if you use it for navigation and you're tapping it back and forth, or you're like me and you only use it once in a while and primarily for identification, the cane is a tool and we should use it any way that we need to use it. If you are visually impaired and you need this cane in any way, any fashion, you should use it. The benefits of using the cane far outweigh the negatives. So bottom line, use the cane. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching guys. As always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to help out. Like, subscribe, and check out all the links in the description down below. Thanks guys, we'll see you next week.